My 55 points consists of uh, Narcissa Malfoy with a knife. We have Severus Snape here with Crucial and two po potions, a level 3 um, heal potion and an exploding potion. Then we have Draco Malfoy with a Death Eater wand as well as um, an Alarte. And then finally we have uh, Lucius Malfoy is that so it's the entire Malfoy family the nuclear one at least and he brings with him a flippendo okay on Jam's end there's a um, Ron Weasley with Confundo and Silencio um, Hermione with Counterspell Papugno and Stupefy um, Harry Potter with his Expecto Patronum Petrificus Natalus and Stupefy as well with, and Albus Dumbledore with apparition, but unfortunately, he can use it. In death of a but he has an elder one in Bombarda Maxima. Bombarda? Okay. Yeah, I hate that spell. So, this is the board. I will be allowed the field anywhere on that board. And then the port key is over there. So, the mission uh, objective is for her to defend Ron Weasley, yeah. the prefect. If I kill Ron Weasley before the end of four turns, then I gain five victory points. If she, um, if Ron Weasley survives the five, the four turns, then she gains four victory points. On the other hand, if Ron Weasley dies, his body drops, and they can bring it to the port key, um, for which she will score three victory points. We're about to start the first turn. The Hogwarts students deployed over there. Um, she has treasure, spell slinging, and the more the merrier as her objectives. The more the better. <laughs> the more the better. All right, and then I have defeat them, treasure, and spell slinging. So she put my treasures here and there, so prevented me from moving forward and trying to kill her prefect immediately. I, on the other hand, put one treasure there and one over there for her to try to get. And. Now I realize my Malfoy and Snape are susceptible to a, to a bombarda because they're within three of each other. We will be activating uh, next, but um, I have Unwieldy ma Magic as the event that I drew, which means that all the spells that we are casting this turn will be subject to a plus one cost. First to activate would be good old Draco, moving one, two, three spaces, go and bombard it. I will um, cast Alarte on Hermione. That's usually a two. He's an apprentice, goes down to one, but then he still needs two because there's unwieldy magic. So this is two successes. Are you counterspelling or? Jam has decided to not counterspell. So I'll be rolling three dice. And I rolled two successes, so I'm up four. She needs two to block that. And she does. So Draco did that for nothing. With that, the Alarte gets exhausted. It will need to cool down two turns before um, Draco can use it again. Yeah. So she decides to cast Bombarda on Malfoy, oh, no. <laughs> on, on Draco. Him. Bombarda on him, okay. I'm moving one, two, three. That's within four. Barda on him. Alright, okay. So, so I have an elder one. Four success. Ah, uh, five successes plus two. So that's a total of seven successes. He has three. I need four. Come on, six. Yes, I just need one more success to stop the bombarda. And I do. So snake. Come on, you can suck it. Albus Dumbledore. The most dangerous spell is now exhausted. Narcissa will remove this using the leadership of uh, her husband. Bring me up to one victory point and then she moves three here. So on her second activation she chooses Hermione and the Chinks die on Malfoy I guess. She will be casting Stupefy on Malfoy. 
rolling three dice plus one die and choosing the three highest and that's one success so it's a total of three successes now I have to roll an unlucky die I have to choose the three lowest and that's a zero so I take one damage on Malfoy but Stupefy is exhausted so Malfoy well, Draco takes one. Now the husband moves there and says that. So she chose the last um, boon, I guess, and uh, she, well, to no effect. She activates Harry. You're good? Activating Harry? Yes, activating Harry. Not moving. Not moving. Casting but Patronus. Casting Patronus. You need how many successes? It's difficulty four. So you need two successes. Yep. She successfully casts Patronus and puts it where? And put it here. Put it there. Okay, so the Patronus gives plus one defense to every uh, ally within two spaces of it. So everyone. Are you moving with Harry or are you staying there? Stay. Okay. Move. Snape here and I will cast Crucial Go on Hermione and she can't counter but she has three successes I have um, five successes okay and she makes it right lucky 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 she activates Ron and moves just between Harry and Hermione. And what are you doing? Just saying done? Alright. Okay, so end of the turn, we will do the cooldowns and then come back uh, for the second turn. Turn 2, start of turn 2, I'm ahead by one point. And I will activate... Uh, I'll activate, well, Narcissa. She will move one, one, two, three, over here. And say done. I'll choose this. Move one extra space during okay. move action. And it's gonna move one, two, three. Okay, so you're not doing four. Okay. Uh, casting. Okay. So petrify on Snape. And that's just one success, so that's a total of three. I already have three successes, I don't even need to roll. Okay. So Snape escapes Petrificus, and that spells exhaust. Okay. Lucius will move forward. One, two, three. Turn. This is now or never. I will get a Jinx die for whoever I target. I'll target Ron. Let's go for it. And then this guy will move one, two, three near the Patrono. So he rolls, uh, well, he has defense plus one. He's defense three right now. I am attacking with my potion. That's a two. Oh, it's a three. And But you roll four dice and choose the three lowest. So me first. So that's four. Three lowest is zero. So that means he takes five damage, which kills Ron Weasley. Yay! I get five points. So we will drop the body. We'll put a prefect mar a prefect marker somewhere. And now she has to run and take it all the way there to score three victory points at least. Right. She puts down the prefect marker over there and we take out, go away Ron, that dude. Now for jam second activation. Um, she's gonna move. One, Pick up Ron's body. Yeah. All right, and then. Two, three. Right, so Hermione is over there. Wow. Put the token on her card. Right, and you pick that one. the model up to four oh, spaces. Oh, so you can move four. Wow. Can move four spaces. Um, I can do this. One, two, three. 
right, so she's gonna deliver it to the port key. It's close. A good thing I haven't activated Lucius yet. So let's beat that counter spell. I will move my dude to three over there, and I will cast Petrificus Totalus on the bearer of Ron's body. I have two successes. I will use my Death Eater one, which gives me an extra success. I'm not within one of him, so I just need... Uh, I'm at three successes right now. That's just four. So you just need two to stop that. And she does. Ah, that would have been game-breaking. For her last activation of the second turn, Dumbledore activates. Dumbledore moves one, two. Moves there, and does he do anything? He does nothing. Right, and my last activation is Daddy, Daddykins. We'll move one, two, three, and we'll fire his uh, uh, Flipendo. Ah, you have seven. Stupefy on Hermione. So this is two successes. I'm at five successes, she needs three. And she fails. So Stupefy does one damage on her Maya. End of the second turn, we have Ron dead being carried by Hermione to that portkey. But I'm at five points, sorry. I'm actually at six. She really needs to catch up. For my first activation, I will activate Mr. Snape to move one, two, three, and stop right there. I've seen this still. Which is what? Which is move one extra space during the movement. Okay. Hermione is being chosen and she's okay. moving. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Casting. Okay. Uh, okay. What does that do? Um, combat spell. If successful, target model suffers three physical damage. Wow. So I'm at. So she's at two. Is she at two? Yes. Two. So she's at four. I'm. You're casting here, right? Yes. No, I'm at five. So no. So I'm choosing the plus one movement. And I will use Narcissa. Narcissa will cast stupefy on Hermione. One success plus one, so that's two. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. One more. Uh, but that's already, yeah, that's, I just have three and she has five right now. So it doesn't work, but I can move four. I'll move here. There, and end my turn there. Okay, she's ignoring difficult terrain now. I'm actually down to 10. I'm still up 10. Okay. So, Harry Potter. Harry has been moved. One, two, three. And, and um, casting to defend. Okay. On? Draco. Draco. Alright. Draco will defend. You get plus one, lucky. Uh, that's four. Five. So that's three plus your two. You're at five. I'm currently at. Uh, three. I need two more. No, I take one more on Draco. So he's down to three life. He's at on on orange right now. Is that it? For my last activation, I will use Lucius, and he will be casting um, Flipendo on Hermione. Are you countering? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm counting. Alright, counting now. You need three successes. You have two, you just need one. Yep, it's countered and I used my flipendo. Alright. Okay. Oh, I forgot I'll move with this guy and just move him. So this is the last turn, I'm still ahead. I'm at six, she's at zero. Are you at zero? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And Hermione is right near the port key. We will be drawing an event card and those bones come back. On my turn, I will activate 
Sever Snape. You have no damage yet. Yeah, yet. I will do a. Uh, uh, Harry has what? Okay, Petrificus. Harry has Petrificus. So I'll use Sectum Sempra on Harry. That's my first spell. And I will pay. So we're down to eight because this there's a magical drain in play. I will pay three. So I'm down to five. And I will cast on three dice plus. So I'm at six. You need four successes. Stop it. Okay, That's one, two, three. No, you need four more successes, Amy. Because I'm at five. Okay. So that means you're affected by Sectum Sempra, you take one damage and you cannot move while this is affecting you. Alright, because you're in pain. Right, ignore the penalty, so you choose Harry, probably. Yeah, Harry. And then um, Petrify. Petrify. Go ahead. I'm plus That's one, the yeah. half blood prince. He cannot be stopped. So that's three. three plus two. I have three and two more. And more than enough. Snape just laughs at Harry Potter. Are you moving Harry or no more? I can move. Ah, you can move. You're right. Right, so Narcissa will cast her Stupefy on Hermione uh, at the plus one. So that's a two. I'm now down to, I'm down to one. Magic point. And that's three successes. You need one success from Hermione. Uh, yeah, that's more than enough. Thanks for rolling in one area. And uh, Arcisa moves there. She ends her action. Now she has Dumbledore left. I have uh, Lucius left. So Dumbledore does nothing. Right? And my Lucius will do nothing this turn. So that's the end of four turns. I'm still at six victory points to her four. The good guys win. That's the Malfoy family with uh, their headmaster, uh, Severus Snape.